Okay, so basically what I think is that in schools, especially in the lower primary sections, the children should be taught about how to reuse their waste paper. I mean, like there's a lot of wastage of paper. I mean, they just scribble on the paper and then they throw it out. But then instead, if that paper is like, you know, if, if it's instilled in them that they have to reuse the paper and save more paper, then I think that's like a very good way in which you can like teach the children how to reuse their own stuff and not to waste any any of their items or any of the stuff they buy. Basically what we see is our population is growing and our vehicular population as well is growing. So we have like a lot of congestion and traffic because of which you know uh, people start getting irritated and stressed and then you know there's like a delay in time. And also what we are noticing is as youth as well is that we have a vehicle or some sort of transportation by which we find our way and we are losing that, uh, you know, the habit to probably walk around and be active. We are starting to live like a very stationary and an easy sort of life. But if we make efforts, maybe the government makes an effort to pedestrianize streets, firstly we will start walking. Two, it's about the sustainability, we'll start using less of the combustible fuel and stuff. And third is that when we start walking, we start interacting with people, we see more things, we live the experience and also we stay healthy. Yes, uh, being in Goa, one of the major issues that we face is uh, water problems. Now, uh, that doesn't make sense because us Goans, we get uh, about an approximate of 3.5 meters of rainfall every year and that is a lot. So uh, what we can do is try using this water in more ways that we already are. For example, one uh, really fantastic way of using uh, rainwater, any water in fact, is aquaponics. And what aquaponics is, is um, utilizing fish and vegetables together in a system which uh, takes the least amount of water to give you the maximum yield. So you have uh, fish in a tank which produce nitrogenous waste and let it out into the water. This water now goes to your plants and since it's already rich, you can use this water uh, and have and grow crops without absolutely without any manure. So this water is then filtered through the plants and goes back into the fish tanks. So this entire process can be repeated. So it's basically reuse of water and uh, it uses the minimum amount uh, and you also get a berry yield. So aquaponics is a really fantastic way of utilizing water and cutting down water wastages that you see through seepage and uh, uh, through evaporation in other forms of uh, gardening. Sustainability. As a very wide population, the one concept that comes up, the one definition that comes up in our mind for sustainability is saving up, to recycle, to reuse, etc. But at an individual level, I want to talk about how we can actually practice sustainability. With the very one thing that on everyday life, on an everyday basis we do, is not carry bags with us when we go shopping. For example, when we go to buy vegetables, how many people actually take a bag from their home and, and think about actually saving the plastic bags which come and return? Nobody. In Panjim, if we assume that we are about a 1.5 million of population the, and every day one person takes one plastic bag the, the amount of plastics actually used per day is almost, almost one lakh that's a lot of plastic if every person actually tries carrying a cloth bag with them and they go to the shop for vegetables and actually come back with no plastics we can reduce the usage of plastics by a lot the, this plastic itself has so much of chemicals and a lot of carbon print which is a main reason for the uh, ongoing global warming uh, problem. So, as an individual, we should start actually believing and practicing such small little steps which will lead to a very bigger solution in the world.